tubes. Tubes are used as containers for various drug forms. At Haye, there are two sizes, 33 milliliters and 55. When filling the tubes, baking paper, about one and a half times the width of the tube is used, as well as it needing to be quite a bit longer than the tube itself. In the middle of the paper, the outline of the tube is traced to show its size to ease the filling process. The baking paper is then flipped to ensure that the lines traced will not contaminate the formulation made. It's important to weigh the paper before the formulation is placed on it, and the tube sleeve is weighed as well so that a correct value can be obtained concerning the amount of product within the tube. The baking paper is rolled up around the formulation and it's slid into the sleeve. Make sure to hold it straight so nothing slides out early, preventing the rust from getting in. When the paper reaches the bottom of the tube, the top opening is clamped together and tightly held with two fingers while the baking paper is pulled out. This leaves the product inside the tube. Then, the tube can be weighed to find the real amount of drug within it. 